Our guest today is Roger Ehrenberg, who is a former Wall Streeter turned entrepreneur and investor. And Roger has been watching this whole Wall Street meltdown, chafing at the bit with good <laughs> ideas on how we're going to fix the place. So Roger, what do we do with Wall Street? Sure. No, Henry, it's obviously a seemingly intractable problem, but I think there are a couple of basic things that we can do to kind of uh, make the industry more transparent and to also protect the U.S. taxpayer. You know, point one is, I think, a lot of the over-the-counter instruments that have exploded to the point of, you know, tens of trillions of dollars exposure really need to be moved towards exchanges. So I think heightened transparency, which will make bank balance sheets much clearer, is one piece of the puzzle. So not eliminate them, just simply make them more aware so we have some idea of what is in that number that the companies every quarter are saying, here's what our assets are worth. Right, certainly. I mean, many of the assets that are on bank balance sheets subject themselves well to being exchange traded um, with you know, central margining and clear price transparency. There are some others that are not, but I think that there need to be more stringent capital requirements for those less liquid, non-transparent assets than there have been previously. Um, I think another big point is the kind of segregation of the true proprietary risk taking from the customer business. And what we've seen is we've basically got hedge funds growing up within these banks. And the problem is, in the wake of the bailout, we've been bailing out their hedge fund, which really shouldn't be the case. And if you look at Goldman Sachs, it is a hedge fund with a little customer service business attached on the side, which would be nice in any other world, but when you're making $10 billion a quarter out of your trading business, obviously a totally secondary business. Oh, there's no question that, you know, because the cost of capital to them in running this hedge fund is basically, it's approaching zero with today's low interest rate environment and a Fed backstop, it's completely unfair and non-competitive relative to independent hedge funds that have to deal with their prime brokers and financing requirements that are much, uh, much more stringent. So how do you completely separate them? Or you can have them in the same, but you have different rules for each? I mean, to me, there are two, there are really two separate pockets of proprietary trading. There's the trading that supports the customer business, kind of like the back book trading within the sales and trading infrastructure. And then you've got these very separate hedge fund businesses and you know Goldman's is run out of the asset management side which is readily separable to me that should be outside that should not be inside the firm and we should not be on the hook for providing them this kind of bonus financing that we have been really in perpetuity so break up Goldman Sachs basically yeah I think in general you know every Wall Street firm has one of these businesses now granted you saw with um, with City Andy Hall they just separated out his business I think that's a logical evolution of these hedge fund operations that really aren't supporting any customer activity. Anything else? I think those are the highlights. capital yeah. requirements? Do we I let them go bust? Do we certify that they can't go bust? This whole too big to fail thing? Well, I think the too big to fail becomes less of an issue when most of the assets are exchange traded and the market will then set the capital requirements on these liquid assets and we have the central counterparty clearing. And then the other side, getting these, these uh, subsidized hedge fund businesses out of there, and we're really focusing on the customer business, those two things will go a long way towards mitigating our exposure and creating a healthier industry. So here's the $64 bazillion <laughs> question. Any chance of any of this happening, or is financial reform just completely dead? It, seem, it seems to me, the way the political winds have been blowing, that yeah, it's very unlikely that we're going to see the kind of changes I'm talking about. We'll see it in pockets. Like I, I do think that we'll see more over-the-counter derivatives traded on exchanges. But is there going to be this requirement that the credit derivative market will now completely migrate to an OTC construct? No. Do you think, that, do I think that the legislators are going to make Goldman Sachs spin off what's effectively a hedge fund within their confines? No. Should they? Yes. But, I mean, you know the game as well as I do. I do. Thanks, Roger.